Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Fidelity and TradeStation. First I'm going to talk about the fees, then I will talk about account opening, what products and markets they actually provide and offer, safety and security in both of these brokers, design of application and customer service. So let's start. The first thing, both of these platforms offer free ETF and stock trading, but if you would look on TradeStation site, you would see this. Commission free for equities trades applies only to the first 10,000 shares per trade. For each order of more than 10,000 shares, a fee per share charge will be assessed on the number of shares in excess of 10,000. So if you would like to buy in the future penny stocks, you need to be careful about it because you're going to pay a fee if it's going to be excess of 10,000. Now about the options fees, TradeStation has 0.6 and Fidelity has 0.65 per contract. What I would recommend is that if you want to actually buy like options, go with Robinhood because you're not going to pay any fee at all. And that's huge. Now, what I also like about uh, Fidelity is that they offer individual retirement account. So if you want to go through the employer, you can choose also Fidelity. And that's also good. Now, uh, they have, TradeStation has a withdrawal fee. So what does it mean that, let's say that every single withdrawal in a month, the first one is going to be free, but then every withdrawal is going to cost you $10. So if you want to day trade or whatever, and you would like to withdraw three times per month money from TradeStation, first is free, and then you're gonna pay for every withdrawal $10. That's, that's important. Now. The on withdrawal of Fidelity, you have only $10 for outgoing wire transfers. Just worry on that. Now, also in TradeStation, if you'd like to open the account, the minimum deposit is $2,000 on TS Select. But in Fidelity, you have multiple options. Let me show you. On minimum deposit by account times, if you have basic account at zero, merging account, 2,000, day trading 25,000, and then you have like the managed accounts, which are more. Now let's go further to uh, like the markets and products they offer. TradeStation is completely dominating here because TradeStation is actually connected to interactive brokers market. So what offers interactive brokers, TradeStation offers it too. It's like uh, interactive brokers is a parent company of TradeStation. Now, let me show you. If you would see it here, that Fidelity offers stock ETF fund bonds options, no futures, not CFD, no, not crypto, and TradeStation offers like literally everything. And if you would see like the ETF here, if you would scroll down, it stocks and ETF, you can see stock markets and ETF 80, and stock market on TradeStation 78, and ETFs 13,000. So if you'd like to access a new market, a new ETFs, so like from all over the world that you are interested in, that you actually can find on Fidelity, I would recommend choosing trading, I mean, tr trade station. So that's also really important to know. And now let's continue. The huge advantage of Fidelity is that they have good research tools and good tips on investing and trading. Also, their apps are good and are easy to use the UX and UI standpoint on both of these platforms is good. TradeStation is all right too, but Fidelity in my opinion is winning here. Now, to go further, customer service is better on Fidelity. You can see right here that uh, TradeStation doesn't have 24 seven support and live chat doesn't work. And Fidelity has live chat, uh, also emails, simple and phone support. That's huge. Now to go further, what I also like uh, on both of these platforms that you can have actually demo account. That's like huge for me because you can test the waters, right? You can test both of these platforms, what you like, what you don't like, see the fees by yourself. If you actually like the platforms and it's pretty much it. Safety is good on both of these platforms and they are safe comparing to, I don't know, eToro or Robinhood. Fidelity, let, let me just read you this. So, protection scheme protects against the loss of cash and securities in the case the brokers go bust. Protection is 500,000, which includes 20, uh, 250,000 limit for cash. Fidelity also provides additional total of 1 billion coverage. And that's like huge too. Now, if we go further uh, on TradeStation, 
Trade Station uh, has a parent company, Interactive Brokers, and both of these brokers are huge. Like Fidelity is here from 1964, guys. So I wouldn't really worry about this. So that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, guys, ask down in the comments. And let's just start with and if I would like to invest to funds, if I, my employer would like to use Fidelity, I would go with the Fidelity. And then I would also buy stocks and ETF from there if I like it, the website. There is not so much difference between TradeStation and Fidelity in my opinion. It just depends what you actually want. But yeah, if you want to trade options, go with Robinhood. If you're okay with Robinhood, of course. So thank you very much for watching. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye.